Next up on WTV, a library competition, this week's edition of Real Talk, and today's sports. WTV's Daily Update starts now. Hey there, Hawk Nation. Today is Thursday, September 1st, and I'm Karina Grosko with today's Daily Update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. Although the school year has just begun, teachers already have a work day. WTV's Vivon Mate has a story. Students get to enjoy a four-day weekend starting tomorrow, but teachers will have to come in for a staff development work day. English teacher Vanessa Melvin says that staff development days are a way for teachers from other campuses to be able to work together on a curriculum. Of camaraderie, but usually it's about uh, discussing any policy changes from the district, um, any new information that's out that we need to know. Sometimes it's deep diving into students' needs, things like that. I know for the English department, um, considering that the state of Texas has changed their standards for the um, STAR test, we will be going over all of those changes tomorrow. And then in the afternoon, we will have time to plan with our teams so that we can make sure that students are on the right track going forth. While teachers will be at work tomorrow, all Frisco ISD schools and offices are closed Monday for Labor Day, giving everybody at least a three-day weekend. Reporting for <laughs> WTV, I am Vivan Maid. As the school year progresses, academic clubs are starting up. One prominent organization on campus is DECA. WTV's Sachi Kuchu has more. DECA gives students the opportunity to compete in niche events particularly relating to business. On campus, more than 20 students went on to state competitions last year. Students that proceeded to nationals traveled to Atlanta to compete. Some competitors have experienced personal growth after participating in the club. Quick thing is something like I've never been good at. I've always been like a planned person. This, this, this has been like my bread and butter. But like now with DECA, it's kind of like all spontaneous thinking. Oh, this has come up on the spot. How can I elaborate on this? Stuff like that. It's really helped me in the short term thinking process. DECA is looking for many new members to join this year. To join the Remind, text LIBDECA22 to 81010. Reporting for WTV, I'm Sachi Kuju. The library has come up with an ongoing challenge for students to participate in during the month of September. WTV's Joaquin Perez has the details. Starting today to the end of the month, September 30th, students on campus have been challenged to read as many books as they can. In years past, librarian Chelsea Hamilton would pick a specific kind of genre, but this year she has opened it up to any type of book. A few times a year I like to do a book challenge to kind of encourage students and teachers to read more. In the entire month of September, the 1st through the 30th, there is a like kind of like a bingo. It's 30 books, so if every book you check out, let me sign off on it. And if you get all 30 books in the entire month of September, then you get a prize. By allowing them to check out whatever kinds of books that they want, whether it be graphic novel, nonfiction, um, fantasy, whatever, I think it'll just kind of encourage students to read more of what they love. Reporting for WTV, I am Joaquin Perez. With the four-day weekend approaching, WTV's Lauren Sinclair asked students about Labor Day. Hey Red Hawks, this is WTV's Lauren Sinclair with this week's edition of Real Talk. This week I'll be asking students about Labor Day weekend. My first question is, why do we celebrate Labor Day? Um. For the fallen soldiers, I don't know. It's not a holiday then. My second question is, what are your plans for this weekend? Um, probably go out with my boys. Probably, or if not, just watch my little brother, have some fun with him. I don't know. My third question is, do you enjoy having a long weekend so close to the beginning of the school year? Yeah, I feel like we need the break. Like, we really shouldn't even start the school this early, so I feel like we just need that break kind of hurt relax, rejuvenate, get our minds right. Reporting for WTV, I'm Lauren Sinclair. On today's sports, WTV's Luke Marin gives you a preview the On today's sports, WTV's Luke Marin gives you a preview of volleyball, football, and cross country, as well as a recap of tennis. On Tuesday, Red Hawk volleyball took on Reedy, but would fall short losing 3 to 1. The team will look to bounce back tomorrow in a match against Frisco at 5.30 at the Nest. To get ready for the Raccoons, the team is doing their homework. We're going to watch a lot of film this week so we can start noticing what their weaknesses are. That way during the game, 
we are ready and we can play to like earn points so we know like how to attack what they're doing. After coming off a 38 to 28 loss to Corsicana, the Red Hawk football team is looking to turn things around against Greenville on Friday at 7.30 p.m. at Greenville. We've been preparing for Greenville by watching film and we have a really good game plan that we've been practicing and I really feel confident in our team and our ability to come out Friday night and come out with a W. Also competing this weekend, the Red Hawk cross country team will compete in the Marcus Coach T invite at North Lakes Park in Denton on Saturday. Reporting for WTV, I'm Luke Martin. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. HOSA will be having an introductory meeting today during advisory. The meeting will take place in the lecture hall across from the library and is mandatory for all future HOSA members. Cord points will be awarded to all attendees. Make sure to follow our Instagram account at Liberty HOSA and join the Remind by texting LIB HOSA22 to 81010 to keep up with all HOSA updates and don't be afraid to reach out to any of the officers for any questions you may have. Math Honor Society will be hosting its first informational meeting during advisory September 12th in the lecture hall. This meeting is for both current and prospective members, as well as any who are interested in math UIL and other math competitions. For more information, join the Remind Lib Matt 23 and follow Liberty MU Alpha Theta on Instagram. Interested in Tabletop Club? We play tabletop games such as D&D, Magic the Gathering, and more. To receive updates, including meeting times, join the Remind by texting at LHS top, all lowercase, to 81010 or by going to remind.com slash join slash LHS top. PTSA Spiritwear is here. Support your school, teachers, and community by purchasing Liberty Spiritwear by scanning the QR code. That's it for today's daily update. This is Karina Groska for Wingspan TV.